The Super Mario Bros. movie has finally been released in cinemas, bringing the Mushroom Kingdom back to the big screen. We here at Slurp have been waiting for the Mario movie for such a long time, and after finally getting to see the movie, we were not disappointed. The Super Mario Bros. movie is an absolute joy. While kids lose themselves in a fun-filled adventure to save the Mushroom Kingdom, adults can revel in the nostalgia where every nod to Nintendo is delivered to perfection. Anyone who has played a Super Mario game will lose their mind with every reference, power-up, object or sound. This universe and its rules are easy to learn and have huge potential. And while on that note, why don't we discuss what is to come in the future? The movie is tracking to be a box office sensation, and the movie is already teasing what is to come in the future. So with that being said, it's time to break down both of the post credit scenes and find out what the Super Mario Bros. 2 what could bring. With that being said, we are going to be discussing spoilers for the Super Mario movie. This is your spoiler alert. Viewers are also treated to another performance from Jack Black's Bowser, who sings once again in front of a piano about his undying love for Princess Peach. Bowser's performance is cut short when one of Peach's mushroom guards bangs on his cell and tells him to keep it down. A quick cut to a wider angle reveals that Bowser still hasn't returned to his normal size, though that doesn't stop him from threatening Peach's guards, none of whom seem to take him very seriously. This might not seem as consequential as the post credit scene we may see later in the movie but it does indicate a few a tiny form he could easily swoop in on his clown car undetected to save and restore his father. Again, this is just speculation, but it would definitely set up a great father-son threat for the second movie. Switching gears, let's take a look at the second post credit scene which has more far-reaching implications than the mid-credits stinger does. In the third act of the Mario movie, Mario leads a giant bullet bill into the underground pipe system, causing a massive explosion that not only destroys the pipe network but also transports some of our favorite characters to Brooklyn. This sets the stage for an epic showdown between the Mario brothers and Bowser in the Big Apple. But wait, there's more. As the dust settles and Bowser is defeated, a Yoshi egg is left behind. The screen cuts to black as the egg breaks apart, and all we hear is the green-colored dinosaur saying his own name. That's right, folks, Yoshi has arrived in the Mario Cinematic Universe. This opens up a world of possibilities for future movies, as we could see adaptations of games like Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and Super Mario Galaxy 2, where Mario and Yoshi team up for all sorts of adventures. If the next Mario movie is even more of an ensemble piece, why not utilize Yoshi's abilities in the same way as Mario does in Super Mario Sunshine or Paper Mario? But for now, let's focus on Yoshi's arrival in Brooklyn. This lovable green dinosaur is sure to cause a stir as he makes his way above ground. And who knows what kind of mischief he'll get into with Mario and the gang. So, what do you think? Are you excited about Yoshi's debut in the Mario Cinematic Universe? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Slurp for more updates on all your favorite movies and TV shows. Hey Slurp heads, did you know we're on TikTok? If you're a fan of the content we put out on this channel, you're not going to want to miss this. It's more of what you love plus exclusive content you won't see anywhere else. Head over now and join the fun.